Zion's been called out by porn star Mariah Mills. Zion Williamson and porn stars. And John Morant's a wannabe gangster who's flashed a pistol on Instagram Live twice now. The new NBA isn't looking too good. As once Curry, LeBron, and KD retire, is this really what us fans are going to be left with? Stay tuned. In terms of the most prevalent news, Zion made headlines when announcing he was going to have a child with his girlfriend. That said, now he's evidently in hot water as porn star Mariah Mills called him out on Twitter for allegedly seeing her at the same time as the mother of his child. Mills would let fly of a series of tweets on Wednesday morning describing her experience with Zion, and the former number one pick can't be too thrilled about what she had to say. There's obviously no proof as to whether or not the slur of volatile messages from Mariah were factual or baseless, but it's not a good look either way. It's become a happenstance throughout Zion's young career for stories about him to be based around his moves away from a basketball court. This news, combined with the fact that Williamson's been unable to stay healthy essentially for the entirety of his early playing days, can't make the Pelicans organization or fan base too pleased. Zion's been completely unable to make basketball his prime concern, which speaks volumes considering the hype and pressure the Duke product had on him entering the association. This was a guy in Zion with Victor Wembenyama, LeBron James-esque hype, and thus far, he's fell flat of matching that hype with the appropriate level of on-court production or off-court maturity. This recent news comes after he played in merely 29 games in 2022-23's campaign while dealing with a foot injury. Zion agreed to a five-year max extension worth up to $213 million back in July of 2021. The first years of this man's career have not come close to matching the expectations of Pelicans fans, President David Griffin, or anyone surrounding this New Orleans organization. But now on to John Morant, who's been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons as well over the last year, whether it's been his alleged fight with an 18-year-old kid during 2022's offseason, which involved several lawsuits fired in both directions, or for flashing a gun on Instagram Live on multiple occasions. Adam Silver would announce before the NBA Finals after Ja would meet with the commissioner and proceed to break his trust again by showing a gun on camera for a second time that Morant's suspension wouldn't be set until after the NBA Finals. Morant's rep pulled out an interesting card in order to get the attention away from Ja, obviously in an attempt to lessen the length of his incoming suspension. Breakfast Club host Claudia Jordan cited sources about Ja Morant's investigation saying, quote, My sources say that the relative in the back of the car in the back seat had a toy gun in the car. The gun is not real and the relative was playing around with it, passed it to Ja, and that got caught on the live the video was sent to Adam Silver, end quote. Claudia Jordan also told listeners that the NBA will announce that Morant's suspension will be 30 games, more than one-third of the 2023-24 campaign. That suspension would match the punishment handed out to former Charlotte Hornets forward Miles Bridges, who was suspended 30 games after his arrest on felony domestic violence charges in June of 2022. This account of Morant's actions goes against what's shown in the video, which was posted to friend Devontae Pack's account. By the looks of the tape, the camera is pointed at Morant and is then instantly pointed down as soon as the gun comes into focus, which seems to solidify the widely held assumption that Morant was holding an authentic firearm. Therefore, this claim by Jaws reps was a thinly veiled play and is just another headline that Morant finds himself in hot water for. Former NBAer and a 15-time All-Star, a four-time rebounding champion, an NBA champion, a nine-time All-NBA player, a Defensive Player of the Year, and a 12-time All-Defensive Team player in Kevin Garnett would give some wise words to Morant regarding all of the drama he's caught himself in, saying, quote, I'm just going to be 100 about it. A lot of these kids don't have a script. And what I mean by that is that this is their first time being outside, so they don't know what they're doing. They're just doing whatever the agent is suggesting, whatever they think is clever, and you know, you damn near think you're untouchable until you run into situations like this. Everybody wants to take it back once it's done, you know what I'm saying? And Morant has the luxury of being able to survive this, but more importantly, I don't think he's thinking about what he is." End quote. And what Ja is, 
is a role model who's been gifted with once-in-a-generation type athleticism, which has allowed him to work hard for and get blessed with an opportunity to play basketball in one of the most acclaimed professional sports leagues on planet Earth. It's time for this man Ja to get his head straight, and for good this time. I totally disagree with the JJ Reddit crowd in terms of bringing outside the association politics into this, saying that because Ja didn't shoot anyone, he didn't do anything wrong. That's a short-sighted opinion given it doesn't take into account that the NBA is a private corporation that can handle its business however they see fit and choose to operate said business in a professional manner. If you're going to be in the NBA, representing millions of people in whatever city you play in, bottom line is you have to be held to certain standards. If the league is going to carry on the reputation the likes of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Stephen Curry set for it, it's new generation of talent, meaning guys like Zion Williamson and John ja Morant, have to be better off the court.